Hey guys, I'm back with a new video for my channel. I got a really good response on my first impression Elk River haul, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was my last video. I'll leave the link in the description below. And I also got a lot of requests to do a review on the Dead Sea Mineral Mud Mask, which is also a mask that my company produces, Elk River Soap Company. This is a mask that is made from the Dead Sea in Israel. And the only other ingredient, and I know I told you guys in my last one that I would look it up, I did. I still don't know how to say it. But I did look it up. So it is DMDM Hydantoin. I know that's definitely not right. You can kind of read it on there, and you can obviously go and look at it on the website. It is 0.009% of this product. So I did look it up. It is a form of preservative. Yes, it's well within the standard. I believe I read that the highest that you can have in products is like a 0.2%. And this is, like I said, 0.009%. So it's well within the um, safety standards. So it's not going to hurt you in any way. The only reason that they put this in here is to help preserve it, help it to stay fresh, things like that, um, while importing it from Israel, while it's stocked in Elk River Soap Company's warehouse, while it's here in my inventory, my samples, things like that. Um, also so that I can use it so I can get multiple uses out of it, which is a good thing. I'm, I'm well okay with that. Okay, so before I get started, I want to tell you guys a little bit about this product. So all I have is I have the website and the description pulled up on my phone, and I'm just going to kind of read it to you guys as I go. This is the container right here, and it is, let's see, four ounces. So it's $16.99, you get four ounces. It's a pretty big jar, and you really don't need a lot, um, as far as I can tell, the samples. It's not like it was really um, runny or goopy or anything like that. It seems like a really good face mask. I'm really excited to try it. It says, for those of you that haven't been on my website, if you have, you can just skip forward to the part where I'm applying it. Or if you want to listen to me read it, feel free. But I wanted to put the description in here so that you guys know a little bit about it going into the video. From the lowest point on earth, Dead Sea Mud is an all-natural skin nourishing mask for any part of the body. Dead Sea Mineral Mud is a great detoxifying treatment for the skin, gently exfoliating and drawing out toxins and impurities. It also contains a rich supply of nutrients and minerals that revitalize the skin and make it healthy, smoother, clear, and well moisturized. I need all of those. Some of the essential minerals found in the Dead Sea Mud are sodium, magnesium, potassium, chloride, iron, and calcium. All of the agents in all of which are agents in keeping the skin healthy, supple, and beautiful. You can use it as a face mask, apply it to areas of soreness, use it in your hair to reduce dandruff and nourish your hair follicles, apply to itchy spots, scars, or dry skin. It says Dead Sea Mud also increases the flexibility of skin, allowing it to smooth over lines and prevent new, um, smooth over wrinkles, I'm sorry, and prevent new lines. Uh, directions for use, apply this face or body mask, leave it on the skin until mud is dry, 5 to 15 minutes, 15 minutes is your maximum. Rinse it off well and then follow up with a moisturizer. As the mask dries, you might notice a slight pulling sensation on your skin. This is the mask gently exfoliating, drawing out toxins and impurities. At the same time, it is allowing the beneficial ingredient within the mask to absorb into your skin, which leaves your skin even more toned, even in texture, and clear. That's amazing. Okay, and our Dead Sea Mineral Mud is 100% natural and always imported from Israel. So, I thought that was wonderful. And they also have the, um, I guess, a disclaimer ingredient list at the bottom. Ingredient is Dead Sea Mud, which is the first one, um, and then the DMDM. That's what we're going to call it, DMDM, because I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this product has been added to maintain the shelf life of the product. While we try to try to st <laughs> this product, this preservative has been added to maintain the shelf life of the product. While we always strive to keep our products chemical free, the nature of Dead Sea Mud requires the addition of a full spectrum preservative to prevent the growth to prevent the growth of mold and bacteria. DMD DMDM. <laughs> has been deemed safe as a preservative by the FDA, falls well within the prescribed limit. So it's definitely safe for your body, definitely safe to put on your skin. I'm a little bit nervous putting it on my sensitive skin, um, but we'll see. And like I always say in my videos, if you have a reaction, it's not necessarily a chemical. Obviously, this is a preservative, but a lot of our products, most all of our products, are naturally based and easy on skin, especially sensitive skin. Mine, um, I haven't had a reaction to anything, which is rare, very rare, rare for me because I can't use a lot of 
um, I guess scented products, um, harsh chemicals, stuff like that. It really irritates my skin sometimes. So without further ado, without me rambling anymore, I am going to go ahead and apply this on my face and let you guys watch. And one thing I did notice about it, I already got this all over me, go figure. It does settle just a little bit. Can you see how it's like runny just a little bit? But obviously it's from the Dead Sea. It's mud. It's going to get a little bit settled, I suppose, as if you, you know, set it there, you've opened it, set it there, haven't touched it since. However, all you have to do is mix it together. I'm mixing it with my finger just because I'm going to apply it with my fingers anyway. So, why not? Get my hair out of the way. I'm going to try to use my viewfinder as my mirror. I do have a mirror over here. If you see me looking over there, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it does kind of feel a little bit gritty. I kind of like that, though, because it kind of makes me think it's exfoliating even more. I really like the smell of this too, as odd as that might sound, because there's no added fragrance. I kind of like the smell. It's really earthy, obviously. It's, you know, from the Dead Sea. It does feel a little bit thinner than a traditional face mask that, like, like a um, Freeman beauty mask. I know a lot of you have probably tried those. That was my tried and true until I had an allergic reaction. So, no, I'm probably not going to use it again. If I haven't mentioned before, or if you don't know me, I actually do have really dry skin. So, um, I get kind of leery putting stuff on that's going to, um, draw toxins out. Alright, I think we're on pretty good. Am I the only one that likes to have perfect circles in their eyes? Is that weird? I do feel the pulling sensation with what I'm hoping is not allergic reaction to the preservative. Or, or the mud, you know. I'm allergic to everything else. Let's just throw dead sea mud in there. All right, guys, be right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 251. Okay, so I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how long this takes to dry, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, I'm back. It is now 3.03, so it's been about um, 12, 13 minutes, something like that. Um, I didn't want to leave it on for the full 15 minutes because everything is completely dry, even though some of the spots still look a little bit glossy, they are dry. Um, and I was reading some of the reviews while I was, you know, letting it dry, letting it settle, relaxing, watching TV. And it said that one of the ladies' reviews, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name, but she's on the website. If you click on the Dead Sea Mud Mask, her review is on there. She said that she can see when it draws out the toxins. So, um, I do see a little bit of discoloration, like, these are a little bit darker. This is obviously lighter. Um, that spot's a little bit darker. So I'm wondering if that's like where I had toxins because a lot of these areas, like right here, I was starting to break out. Um, it's a little bit darker, but I think I may have just put that on a little thick right there. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like when I wash it off. So I'll be right back. Let me get a washcloth, run some water, um, and I'll take it off and let you guys see the aftermath.
Alright guys, so I'm back. I have washed my face mask off and I'm so excited. No allergic reactions. Obviously a little bit of redness if you know me at all. I have kind of slight rosacea and so my face always kind of has a, a red like tint to it. And granted it is a little bit redder, um, but it usually is after I wash it anyway. After I've touched it, done anything to it touched it in any way because my skin's too sensitive but I'm so excited that I don't have any reactions um no hives no um severe redness nothing out of the ordinary uh, my skin does feel a little bit tight honestly though I kind of did expect that that's pretty traditional for me with face masks my skin is very dry um pretty flaky dry and so I generally need to apply moisturizer afterwards anyway I can't stop touching it though you guys it's so soft like, it is so soft. And I've got all of it off. Um, you can see, like, you know, when you wash your face so good that it's, like, shiny. Like, it did a really good job. I'm very, very impressed with it. Ignore my eyebrows that need to be waxed or plugged. But, guys, I'm really impressed with it. I hope you guys like this review, this video, um, whatever it is. My honest review, my honest first impression of actually using it. So remember to contact me if you want a sample, message me on Facebook, text me, call me, whatever. Like I said, I have made samples out of my own stock, my own inventory. So I do have several still left. I've given out some. I do have several left of it, though. So I will leave my website in the description below, the price, the link, things like that. Um, and just let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to comment below and let me know of any other videos you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.